Hello Sagittarius viewers. I'm going to be looking into what your person is feeling, what they're thinking, and what they might be wanting with you in the near future, or what direction this is headed over the next um, two weeks or so. All right, so for the Sagittariuses that are watching this video, could be an ex, could be a current person. I know I've channeled a lot of chaos from the Sagittarius groups I've been reading lately. Right, so for the Sagittariuses that are watching this, the Sagittarius viewers, what is your person thinking, feeling, what is going on with your love life? Show me for the Sagittariuses that are watching this video. What is going on with your love life? Okay. We have the Three of Pentacles, Death, which, you know, just means an ending to something. It doesn't, mean, des doesn't necessarily mean like a physical death. Usually the death card just represents um, like a transition, something leaving something behind, basically. And I did pick up a lot of chaotic energy from you before. There was somebody um, that either felt like you owed them an apology or somebody... Um, it was you an apology. There was just some chaotic energy in the past. So the not too distant past from what I picked up. So we've got the three of pentacles. We've got the death card. We've got page of cups, five of wands, knight of pentacles, six of pentacles, swords, uh, two of pentacles. Okay, I feel like I feel like this is about an ex that either just came back in or is about to come back in. With the Three of Pentacles card here, it was kind of like you're trying to focus on yourself. You're trying to just, you know, your love life might not have been going that well. So you were trying to focus on yourself, on your creative projects, your hobbies, your career, the things that make you happy. And this person came in and, you know, again, this is either... I would say the not too distant past, or this is happening now. Um, and this person just came in and ended that energy for you. They took you out of that independent energy. They, they came in and uh, interrupted your life, basically. And it almost seems like it's just the same thing as before, though, because you see with the Page of Cups here, this is like, this is your, your either your masculine or your feminine, however it plays out. This is your person kind of seducing you to come back. You know, you see how manipulative and seductive she is. This is could be a love letter or a love message or an apology or, you know, some type of communication from this person. And he or she is trying to draw you back in. They're trying to be seductive. But the thing is, it's the same as before. It's the same whether it was ghosting or mis just some type of miscommunication. So it could be ghosting. It could be... Um, you know, just the silent treatment, it could be arguments, um, misunderstanding, misunderstanding each other, you know, you see there's this there's, there's conflict here, there's, they're not on the same page with each other, you know, she's really hurt, and he's just kind of not seeing it, he's just turning a blind eye to it, and, and so it's like, they, they come in, and they draw you back in, but then they put you in that same energy that you were already in, um, And I think there's something to do with finances here, too. I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, you were trying to just charge forward and focus on, you know, your yourself, your career, your hobbies. You're trying to get back on that Three of Pentacles energy, but that person came in and interrupted your life and took you out of that energy. So, so here, you know, after this person comes back in, and again, this is the past for some of you and for others, this is happening now or where your ex is coming back around and doing this to you but it's just the same crap as before but you know here with with after all this this miscommunication and just realizing that that you know it's just the same energy that you don't want to get yourself involved in um it's like you try to focus on finances and abundance and just bettering yourself and your life but you're still heartbroken over this connection 
I think there's still a, still a slap in the, in the face that this person came back and it was just the same as before. You know, it's like you almost end up regretting giving this person a chance again. Um, so with the Three of the Swords, it's like you are feeling some heartbreak. But I think if that's you, I think you're already, you either felt it or you're, you're kind of in that energy. Now, I don't think, for most of you, I don't think that's something that's coming. You know what I mean? I think it's you're either there or you're not. Um, with the Two of Pentacles, I feel like now you're trying to find more of a balance between love and work. Um, you're trying to be a little bit more careful, listening to your head and not just your heart a little bit more. And, you know, setting strong boundaries and not being a little bit more, more cautious when it comes to giving past lovers a second chance. Um, let me see here. <clears throat> so I guess what I should ask is, is this, is this X coming back around? I mean, if, if this is past energy for you guys, or if it's, you know, current energy and you guys are just not talking and you're kind of trying to focus on yourself and your finances more, but you still feel heartbroken um, and you're, you're trying to just get by day, day to day, but you're still thinking about them a lot um, and you're trying to just balance out your life, then, then let's see what comes next. What else, what else can we say about um, this connection? What is there to say about it? Sagittarius viewers, what is there to say about this connection? What's the story? Love, okay, that's good. Hope. Individuality. Obedience. Focus. Loyalty risk. Looking at all these cards, and especially with the last spread, I'm kind of feeling like maybe, maybe for some of you, your person actually focused too much on themselves and on their finances and bettering themselves, and they kind of made that excuse because they were emotionally unavailable. So they said, well, I'm not ready for a relationship. I, I need to get my finances together first I need to go to school first I need to you know be stable be, be uh, financially stable first I need to find a new job first it's that kind of energy they made a lot of excuses um, for others I think it was you were trying to focus on your finances and you know you were trying to better yourself but it was also just trying to distract yourself from this person because they hurt you so much so um, you know take it how it resonates and then in that case, it would be your person that's trying to find that balance. I think you're both trying to find a balance in your lives between work and love. I think that you guys are both can be a little bit out of balance. And so I think for a lot of you, this is past energy because this is an ex that I'm picking up on. And I feel like it's like they wanted to have their cake and eat it too. Like they didn't, they couldn't commit to you, but they didn't, they weren't willing to lose you either. It's kind of like they would come in. It's like you would start doing your own thing and they would pull you back in. They would feel you guys have this strong telepathic bond. So it's like when you pull away from them, they can feel that, you know, and vice versa. And so it's like you would focus on yourself and kind of pull away from them and they would feel that energy. They would feel that you weren't thinking about them, that you weren't obsessing over what they're doing or not doing. Um, and they felt that energy shift. And so they would they would hit you up. They would text you or telepathically do something to pull you back in. Um, maybe even doing spell work for some of you, but they would do something to, to pull you back in to them. But then once you, once you were back, it was just the same crap as before. It was just the same story, the same, you know, I want you here, but I'm not quite ready to commit. It's just excuses, excuses, excuses. Um, but I, I do feel this person, uh, probably coming back around for you. Um, they still the commitment issues are still there though I think they want to work on them but I think they're still there but with love and hope it's like there is hope here there is love here there is a deep connection they might not have expressed it as much as you would have liked because I think they have a hard time expressing their emotions and I think they have a lot of fear and a lot of commitment issues so sometimes it kind of blocks it and you might not have you know gotten an I love you or gotten you know the affection that you were seeking from them but you know there is love and there is hope here and it is mutual um, they're just, they seem so focused on themselves so much of the time. Um, 
And this also, I feel to me, means that they see you as an individual. They know that you're unique and special and different, and then they're not going to find another one of you somewhere else. And they know that you're worth this risk. They know that this is like, a, you know, that they're going to regret it if they don't take that risk sooner or later. You know, like they know, they, t they take you for granted, I feel, but I think part of them still knows that sooner or later somebody is going to come and swoop, swoop you off your feet and then there's going to be nothing they can do about it at that point because you have a big heart and once you love somebody or you're not going back from that, you know what I mean? You're not going to give them a second chance if you are if you um, find the person of your dreams, right? Um, so let's see here. I'm just looking at all the numbers too. I don't know why I feel drawn to the numbers. But I'm just thinking about this. I'm see, I would love to give you guys like a clear answer, like this person is for you, this person is not for you, but I kinda honestly feel this energy that it's different for each person. It's very unstable energy because I feel like for a lot of you, I feel like your your partner is actually a good person deep down. I don't feel like they're a bad person. I think that they're just very damaged and I think they have a lot of commitment issues because of what they've been through in their life. Um, probably, you know, heartbroken a lot over some exes as well, of course. Uh, and I know that the desire is there to work through that and commit, but there's just this other energy too. And so it's really, you really got to use your own intuition deciding if it's worth it to give this person a chance again or not. Um, I'm going to pull some cards to because I want to look into this energy a little bit more and see what's going on with that. But anyway, okay, so for this, I kind of think that they were, you see the obedience card here? I feel like this person was just, they were just obedient to themselves, basically. They were just, their loyalty was, was to themselves. They, they were blind, possibly, to the connection to maybe not seeing what was in front of them. They were just so, you know, weighed down by their past, by their past mistakes, by, you know, past energy. Um... And it's like they just, they weren't seeing what was in front of them. And they were also just, you know, they were kind of, I don't know if narcissistic is the right word. I don't, I don't want to go that far with it. But, but they, you know, they were in this look out for number one mentality. Let's just put it that way. Um, and right now they're trying to focus more on you. They're trying to focus more on, you know, being loyal, on being the kind of person that they want to be. They're trying to focus on you. Um, they're, they're mask they're feminine or they're masculine, however it plays out for you. They're trying to, you know, they're, they're focusing that arrow on, on you, on, on loyalty, on, you know, taking a risk on an unfamiliar type of energy, an unfamiliar relationship, you know, taking a chance for, for love, you know, um, working past the commitment issues, you know, that desire is there, but let's see if we can see what clarification we can get on the five of wands all right so how does your person how do I word that because see again this is I see the commitment issues when I look at this card especially it's like he knows he's hurting her and he's not doing shit about it he's just like well that sucks like, he's kind of just, he's pretending like he doesn't know. He's pretending like he's just kind of, he feels the guilt, I think, but he's kind of pretending like like he doesn't actually know what's happening. But he does know. He knows. He feels it. And he feels your energy a lot. This is a strong telepathic bond here, too, as I said. Um, so with this, whether it's miscommunication, ghosting for a lot of you, arguments, just, just a lack or some type of miscommunication, how do they fix that? Is there a way to fix that? Like, can you show me... What do you what do you have to say about that energy? Like yes, this person wants to come back around. That desire is there. They're thinking about reaching out, but but I want to know is this actually going to be different this time? Are they really going to take this risk for love? Let's see. Are they going to take this risk for love? That's a good question. Are they going to take this risk for love? Are they going to take the risk for love? Let's see. Let's find out here. Knight of Wands, well that's good, that's passionate energy. Ace of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Eight of Swords, ah, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, okay. Kinda what I get from this, this spread is that they almost wanna be your knight in shining armor. 
is kind of that energy I get where they, they want to, they want you to be proud of them. They want you to not see them as somebody who just screwed you over. They want you to see them in a much better light. But of course, that's going to take time and effort on their part if they really want to do that. They can't expect that overnight. But I feel like this person is so passionate and fiery that they almost do expect it overnight. Like they almost do think that that should just happen quickly. And then that's part of their problem is it's just this... I mean, passion is amazing. You know, you live by passion, but but it's it's almost like they don't have that balance, though. It's just they want what they want when they want it kind of thing, you know? Um, you know, the Knight of Wands, is, it's all about energy and impulsiveness, and it's this bold, bold action. It's, it's them wanting to take a risk. It's, you know, that, that fire energy. This could also be, you might, might also be talking to another fire sign because it seems like your person also has, they kind of match your energy with the same passion and that same, um, that same depth and that, just that emotion, that passion. So I'm kind of wondering if, if you yourself might also be a fire sign or maybe even a water sign just because of the, the depth of your feelings is what I'm getting. And yeah, see, with the Ace of Wands looking at her, it's like this this new energy, this new, like you're his muse, you're his, you're, it's like you're his inspiration, it's like this new thing that he wants to do. And it's interesting, because right next to that we have the Eight of Pentacles, which is, you know, about concentration, it's, it's basically that same muse energy. It's, you know, um, perseverance, being patient, you know, taking the time to, to win somebody back over, um, you know, learning new communication skills, you know, learning to, to stay when they feel like running, basically. I think that they almost see you as the Queen of Swords, though. They almost feel like you're probably going to be more guarded this time around, that you're, you're not going to be as open with them, that you might be a little bit harsh, you might be done. Like, they, it's like a dog being scolded with them, almost. It's like they know they messed up, and they're kind of scared. They're kind of scared of what you might say. With the Eight of Swords, this is either your energy or theirs, where it's like, it's not as bad as you guys think. It's like there's a way out, you know? Um... Like there's an opening right ahead of you, but it's just like one or both of you are kind of just, you know, not wanting to deal with it and just sleeping and not seeing it. But it's like if you wake up and look around, there's a way out of this energy. So I do feel like for most of you, and again, you have to use your intuition to determine your own situation because it's not going to apply to 100% of you. But for most of you, I do feel like there is hope here. I do. Um, but if this person, let me just put this out there. If this person ever hit you, if this person was ever physically abusive, if they ever put you down, please do not give it another chance. There's there's no hope for you for you guys if that's the case. Like I'm sorry, but there's just not. If if somebody if somebody hits you, they'll do it again. You know, there there are people that hit that are willing to to hit their partner and there are people who would never in a million years do that. Um you know what I mean? Like, there are people who just don't have it in them to do that. Like, that energy just will never, ever resonate with them. Like, they would be disgusted by it. You know what I mean? And you want somebody who can never even fathom laying a hand on you. So I just want to say that for a couple of people who I feel might be watching. This is just like a select one or two of you, which I feel like you might be watching and you might have, might have gone through that. Please don't give this person a chance. If, if that's the case, then yes, I might be picking up on your energy. But no, there's not hope there if your person did that to you. So this, is, this would be somebody... This would be somebody that was a really good person, actually, that had a lot in common with you. You guys might have had some deep talks. Um, you had this, this soul connection. You have this telepathic connection. But they just were scared, and they would run, and they couldn't handle the commitment, and they you know, were not good at expressing their feelings, and they just got scared easily. They just they got freaked out and ran pretty easily. Um, and they, you know, their passion might get get the best of them sometimes where it's almost like they can't have, a, they don't know how to have a committed, stable relationship because they're jumping around so much. But this person, if, if you're one of the people that has hope here, then your person is a good person. You know what I mean? Like your person is somebody who never hit you. Your person is somebody who, who didn't talk down to you, didn't treat you like crap. Your person is somebody who, who pretty much, you know, tried to treat you well, but they kept running and they kept, they kept, I mean, it's not okay to ghost you, but I'm saying that they would never have, like, they wouldn't have, you know, told you you're ugly and worthless and blah, blah, blah. Like, it's not this energy. Like, the energy I feel is is this is, your person is a good person. Your person is just kind of a baby sometimes. They're kind of a pussy once in a while. Um, 
and they just they didn't know how to handle the nature of the connection like it was too much for them it was too too deep too real too honest too different you know they just they didn't know what to do with it um, but again, you know, if, if they're, if you're part of the group that, that there's hope for, that means that, that, that your person is a good person, that your person was just afraid. They should not have ghosted you, should not have played the games, but it's kind of like their emotions just got the best of them and they, it just, it got out of control with them. They didn't know, they just did not know how to balance. Um, but yeah, with the queen of swords here and the eight of swords, it's, it's like, it's not as bad as it seems. There is a way out. And this Ace of Pentacles, I feel, is a new beginning. So this could even be like, well, I mean, this could be like a new job for one or both of you. This could also be a new beginning when it comes to like a hobby or some kind of point of interest re regarding finances that you guys have in common that they might use as an opener to come back in and talk to you or maybe ask your advice for something or offer you advice if you need if you need help in some sort of area. It'd be some kind of common ground. I think that they're looking for a common ground right now because they might, maybe you guys haven't talked for a while, so it's like they want to message you, but they just don't know. They're still really nervous. Like, they're still, this group, like, they're still nervous coming back around because they just think that you're, they think you're the queen of swords. They think you're going to be harsh with them. They think that you might not um, accept them or forgive them back. But, um, you know, with the Ace of Pentacles here, it, this is a new start. It really is good. Um, and it's like, yeah, a new start learning. It's interesting that card was right, pull out like right underneath it um, or right next to it right here it's almost like a new start and this new start involves you know you guys having a balance between love and work you guys you know them having a balance between logic and emotion not just being completely passionate and in one day and then the next day that same passion that you know made them fall in love with you freaks them out because of the intensity of the connection and they run you know like learning to actually have a balance with this connection and um pushing past their fear and being brave and being loyal and being more honorable and and taking this vow and trying to do right by you um despite you know all the fear that they have and all the the uncertainty that that you guys have right now um they are wanting to come forward so that desire is there uh, yeah thank you guys for watching if this resonates, please go ahead and like, share, um, subscribe. I, I do these videos about twice a month, and then I also do karmic readings um, fairly often, too, among other things. So it's for, for those in third-party situations. I, I regularly do readings for you guys as well. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good day.